So this video is for all the people who are still driving their cars manually. Someone asked me, Omar, can you make a video for people who are new to FSD, who are new to self-driving cars and want to know what it's like and how to get started? And I think it's a great idea because so many people are still driving these manually driven cars, which is crazy given that in 2025, we have technology that can do most of this driving for you. So let's go to the grocery store. I've got a Tesla Model 3 here. You can lease these for 300 a month. And let's go to the grocery store with FSD and see how it works when you have a robot car as opposed to a regular car. So let's hop in here. So here we are, we're sitting in the car and we want to go to the grocery store. All we have to do is push this big blue button and the car is going to take us to the grocery store. It's as simple as that. So we're in a pretty hilly area here. It's going to navigate its way down the hill, find the grocery store and pull into the parking lot. So you can see there's some construction here. There's some porta potties. It's navigating all of that, and uh, it's no problem for the software. There's some cars parked on the side of the road here. Lots of switchbacks. Not an issue for the AI in this car. And it's pretty advanced, it's not perfect. You do still have to watch it. You may have to help it at times or take over quickly, but it can do most drives now entirely for you on its own. And it's constantly getting better. They're sending out software updates. So you'll download software updates over Wi-Fi onto the car and the car will keep driving better and better and require less and less from you. So now we have to make a right turn you can see there's a truck here trying to make a right as well. The car is smart enough to stop. Waits for the truck to get out of the way. Now I can go ahead and make its right turn. So this might seem incredible to you that this exists if you're someone who's doing a long commute manually every day. I mean, just think of the strain it can eliminate, uh, the stress, just sort of monitoring the car rather than having to do everything, track the routing and navigation yourself. It can be a life changer even today. And this technology is actually affordable to pretty much anybody. If you are able to afford a new car, they're leasing these out at around $300 a month. So it's definitely not gonna break the bank. And then when you look at the fact that this is also the lowest cost to maintain car, and the fuel cost is much lower because you don't have to buy gas, you just charge it instead. It's actually pretty affordable to get a new one. Um, and they've got the $7,500 tax credit for now. That could be going away soon. I would run and sign a lease if you can that includes that $7,500 credit. But if you can't afford a new car, you can also get a used one. and use Tesla's as far back as 2016 or 2017 in some cases have the AI3 hardware that can run um, a version of FSD. So you want the AI4 hardware to run the latest and greatest FSD but if you're on a budget you're looking for something affordable the AI3 chip cars also have a really great experience at a much more attainable price. So, I mean, either even for someone who is pretty low income, even for a 16 year old who's maybe getting their first car, there are options for cars with self-driving software like this. Um, of course, Tesla is really the only game in town for a car you can buy right now that has this type of functionality. So we're moving along now. We've made our way down the hill. Next, we're going to be making a left turn onto Sunset Boulevard in a quarter mile. 
And you can see here on the visualization what the car can see. That gives you peace of mind. So I can see that there's construction, there's cones. That's showing up as a little blur there in, in the screen. And this allows me to know what the car can see. It knows that, okay, this is the wrong side of the road. Um, this is opposing traffic. And I can see here what it's thinking, essentially. You can see now these little lines that tell me it's slowing down and it's put the blinker on so it's getting ready to turn left now onto Sunset Boulevard. So I'm just sitting here relaxing. The Tesla has an amazing sound system so you can enjoy some great music, podcasts, whatever you want to do to pass the time. And you can actually scan around rather than just staring at what's in front of you. You can look around from side to side. You can look at things that you need to worry about, other cars, threats on a higher level, rather than just focusing on what's in front of you. And you've got two sets of eyes. You've got the car and you've got you. And this just creates a much safer experience where you can be much more aware at a higher level of what's going on around you while the car handles basic things like making sure it doesn't hit the car in front of you. And you can see the speed bumps here, how it's slowing down for them, even little things like that, all handled by the car using just the cameras. This is some of the most advanced real-world AI um, ever shipped in a consumer product. And it's available to anybody who buys even the cheapest Tesla. It's built into every single one. So as long as it's a AI3 or AI4 car, essentially any car built since 2016 or 2017, late 2016, 2017, um, can run this software. In some cases, upgrades are needed. Um, upgrades on the computer, but if it has the AI3 chip computer or the AI4 computer, then it can run the software. And, you know, there's a Cybertruck, there's a Model Y. Part of the reason these vehicles are so popular here is because it's a nightmare being in traffic all the time and having a piece of software that can handle it for you is a life changer. So think about it. From home, you just get into your car, tell it, take me to the grocery station, and without you touching the steering wheel or pedals once, it is suddenly at the grocery store. You can eat a sandwich, have a drink, um, you know, still keep your hands free to take over, but you can relax at a level that was not really possible with a manually driven car and it just drives so smoothly and so comfortably most of the time it's like a professional chauffeur in many cases it's probably more smooth of a driver than some of your human friends and we're coming up now to the grocery store right up ahead in a quarter mile Wow. So you can see how advanced the AI is there, spotting people running into the road, even at unexpected times.
of course, you should always watch and be ready to take over in situations like that. But the AI does a pretty good job on its own, and it's only getting better. So now we're headed into the parking lot of the grocery store. Pulling in, looking for a spot. And the car's now put itself into park. So there isn't a spot here, but I do see one over there. So let me just help it out a little bit. And I'll say auto park. And you can see the car now parking itself into the parking spot. So right from your house to the parking lot of the grocery store, and then it parks itself. Pretty incredible, right? But wait, there's one more thing. This is the coolest part. So let me show you what happens after we pick up the groceries. All right, so now I've got my groceries and here's the coolest part. I can just use the Tesla app and tell the car to come pick me up at the front of the store. So you can see right here on the camera, I can see what it's doing. You wanna maintain eyesight. So you can see what the car is doing. But it's going to actually just come drive over to me. So you can see it's a pretty crowded parking lot and it's able to navigate all this chaos entirely on its own. Completely jam-packed here. We got a very busy parking lot. And there's our car. It found us on its own. So now I just get into the car. And off we go. So there you go. Not only can this thing take you from your house to the grocery store, pull into the parking lot of the grocery store, and even park itself, when you're done shopping for your groceries, it'll come pick you up even in a very busy parking lot and then it'll take you home. Unless there's some issue, you don't need to touch the steering wheel at all. So go to tesla.com. If you use my link, you can get up to a thousand dollars off a new Tesla. So go get one, start using FSD yourself. It will dramatically improve your life. Um, it's a life changer for sure. And honestly, it's kind of crazy that more people don't know about it. So go check it out. Tell me what you think. Let me know how it works in your area. Take care, everyone.